imagination you can draw pictures can tell a story they can capture it all visit the library read a book each day and we have a story you can illustrate find a subject you like and then jump in and explore you'll find yourself reading more and more every time you go there you get more smart when you're done at the library, you can help with our arts. Mr. Deweese has a story, but he needs your help. If there aren't any pictures, it can go on the shelf. And from friends and your imagination, too. You can make an illustration, and we'll say thank you. You can make an illustration, and we'll say woo-hoo. You can make an illustration, and we'll say yabba dabba do. Hey, kids! <laughs> I'm a little bit sad. Uh, by the way, it's me, your art teacher, Mr. Castiglione. And me, your art teacher, Miss Smith. And me, Mr. Deweese, the reading teacher. Yeah, we're all a little bit sad. Because it's the last episode of our illustration project. <laughs> Mr. Deweese, could you remind him how it works, please? Sure. By now, you should know what's going on, but just in case you don't, I'm reading one page for each episode, and your job is to listen to the story and come up with an illustration that goes with the page. Um, today, we're dedicating this episode, our final episode, to the first graders. Are you ready, first graders? Okay, I'm going to open up to page 10, the ending of the story. Listen. I feel and smell the creature's breath upon my face, like a steam of rotten onions is engulfing my face. Then silence. Am I still alive? I'm afraid to open my eyes. Cautiously, I dare to peek. To my surprise, the cow is back in the pasture, and Mom is headed back my way. She utters, Utters, not utters. Get it? Now that wasn't too difficult, was it? I'd like to reply, easy for you to say, you had the easy part. But it is my mom, so I keep my thoughts to myself. The end. Oh, hey, I'm yeah. glad that worked out. I was a little nervous for a second there. Yeah, <laughs> really nervous. Well, you know, you know everything worked out okay, or I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> well, we're glad it did. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a really clear image of what I think it looks like. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah, I got a picture in my brain. But of course, it's your book. Right. So we would like your final detail. Okay. Um, going in my notes for page ten. Now this this was the ending. Mm -hmm. So there was that exciting part. Where I'm, I'm picturing. Oh, the the cow's coming towards me. The cow's breath is on me. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the time where I open my eyes and realize, hey, everything's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So maybe you know, I could see me like with my family, and we're, hey, everything's okay. But or it could be that scary part too. Oh. What do you guys think? Oh. I think I know what I'm gonna draw. Okay. There yeah. are so many different ways. Right. Why don't we kind of give them another composition? Yeah, just for inspiration, yeah. nothing too detailed. Okay. We'll just get them started, and you guys, as always, you can take or leave our ideas, but at least it's a, you know, something to get you inspired. Yeah. You ready? Okay. okay. So, Mr. Dewey said there's two things we could do. Okay. The cow's breath on the kid, and I'll mm -hmm. start with that. Okay. I'm picturing the cow is running. There's like a snout, right, on a cow? Mm -hmm. They're going to have to figure out how to draw the cow. I'm picturing a bull. Okay. Right? Big scary bull. You know. Running. There's just the body and the little... I mean, of course, I don't have a detailed picture. You guys have to have a detailed picture, though. And then we'll show the breath. I could show breath. If you don't know how to draw breath, if you don't know how to draw a cow, I've got... a slideshow. You can click the link on the side of the screen for inspiration. Um, maybe he's got a closed fist. 
and he's just standing there. Or maybe it's you that's standing there, and he's maybe he's trembling. You can draw some tremble lines, and sweat is pouring down his face, and maybe he feels it, and maybe there's a horizon line in the background. Uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have put. Yeah, because then there's a bunch of empty space behind there. Maybe I should have made it closer. No, that's okay because you have all the space to add the grass details. Yeah. You know. The details are up to the kids. Right. All right. Well, there's an idea. I think a side view might look good for this. What do you think would look good? So I'm thinking about doing the family at ease. Oh. Uh, so I'm thinking like, Mom, can we trade markers again? Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm thinking, Mom. And she's gonna be there with her arm kind of around her son, right? And he might have his hand on his head going like, whew, like that was close, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that kind of makes it look like he's saluting, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and mom, who knew everything was gonna be just fine, just like moms always do, and her hand around her son because everything is a success. Uh, you know, she has nice, calm eyes now because she knew everything was gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. She's looking at him, huh? Yeah. I love it. Right. He's, he's happy that everything's okay, so he's smiling. So you have a front view. Right, I have a I front did a side view. view. Right. So, but the kids, are they allowed to do any way of view they want? Any view they want. Oh, okay. And I'm even thinking about, you know, having the cow out there in the pasture. So I'm still going to have my fence. Right. Right. But my lines, uh, either the part of the fence is complete, mm-hmm. or maybe you can even have part of the broken fence, right? And just my cow, the just kind of hanging out now because everything is okay. Or is it a bull? I don't know. I think it's up to you. Yeah. Now it kind of looks like a bull because of the horns, right? Little mini horns, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you. Yeah, and kids, remember the details. You might have to do some sketches first, because this is a real book. Yeah. We want to make a plan, right? right? So you can borrow from our ideas for inspiration, but you need to have more detail, or maybe less detail. More it's up to you, you think kids. That? Yeah. Well, sometimes if you make things simple, mm. it makes it sort of stylized looking, That's right? That's true. We'll put some pictures up for inspiration. Make sure you demonstrate good craftsmanship. You want it That's to be good. neat, like when you're using crayons or... Mm-hmm color pencils. Right. Yeah, the final picture should be something neat. I was yeah. thinking watercolor. Mm, I love watercolor. Or paint, temper paint. Paint, temper paint. Really, yeah. whatever they want to use. Right. It's up to them. But these are sketches. Yes. Your final picture will not be a sketch. All right, can't wait to see what you come up with. To turn in your illustration, you could just wait and turn it in during art class next year. Or you could use it as an excuse to visit one of Virginia's most spectacular libraries, the TCC Virginia Beach Joint Use Library. You have got to come here. Just ask your parents to drive you to the Virginia Beach TCC Joint Use Library and walk to the back to the children's area. Find the golden treasure box in the back of the room and open it up. Make sure to take out a folder from the top of the box and fill out the form inside. It has a place where you can think of a title for Mr. DeWeese's story, but you have to visit the library in order to have a say in it. Your parent is also gonna need to sign this part, so don't leave that part out. Place the form and the artwork into the folder and close the treasure box. We'll be checking in every so often. I cannot wait to see your work. If you forget exactly what to do, don't worry. The librarians are very helpful. Just ask them for help and they will show you what to do and where to go.
Now, if you're not from Virginia Beach, Virginia, but you still want to make an illustration for Mr. Deweese's story, you can simply ask for your parents' help and take a nice photograph of your work. Take the photo and email it to me, Mr. Castiglione, at landstownart at gmail.com. Be sure to let me know who you are and where you're from. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, kids, normally, right now, we would spend our don't cut art and reading out of your life haircut wheel. I'm so glad that's over. But we've got our final haircut, so I just wanted to share a story. I've been coming home a lot with crazy hairstyles, and you know, those of you who know me, I know I have young kids, and one of my daughters, oh my goodness, she was so upset with all these hairstyles, and she she didn't want this to happen and she demanded that I immediately grow my hair back and I was like it's already the the wheels already in motion Adeline <laughs> we can't stop this train but my other daughter Celeste she's seven so she she felt the pain that I was going through with having people be upset in my hairstyle so I wanted to share this with you guys Celeste made me this I'll, I'll move it to the camera so you can see I thought that was so cute. <laughs> I felt better after that. But anyways, boys and girls, we always want you to be inspired by these illustrations. That's why we have interviews with real professional illustrators that you can click in the links below. Check them out right down there. I'm not sure exactly where, but you'll find them. We've got links to interviews with artists like Nora Hilb, Helena Bogosian, Sylvia Chung, Wendy Rasmussen, Pat and Robin DeWitt, and maybe even more. They made real special videos for you guys, and they're really just for you. So I hope that you'll check them out, maybe even before you start, and you can get a little bit of inspiration. Yeah, and remember, these are professional illustrators, and it's a great experience. You're gonna love it, so check out the link below. We would love to hear about it when summer's over and you're back in school. Oh! Links below. I finally got it. I thought the authors were like under us or something, and I didn't understand how they live. <laughs> oh man. So they're just links. There's not people down there. Hey, down there. Okay, wow. I feel kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this is the last installment of what you can do at this great library. I hope you've enjoyed all the other episodes and clips and you've had a chance to explore the wonderful things that are going on here at the library. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Elena. I'm the youth librarian at the Joint Use Library. Welcome to the library. I know many of you have been here before. For those of you who haven't been here, you've got to come check it out. You guys are so lucky. You have the newest library, it's not even two years old yet, and the biggest library in Virginia Beach is right in your backyard. So make sure you come and see us. This is the children's area. There's all sorts of picture books. We've got board books if you have any little baby brothers or sisters beginning reader books if you're starting to learn how to read. We have all sorts of chapter books and we have um, non-fiction books about every single subject under the sun. So whatever it is that you're interested in, I bet we have a book about it. We um, also have graphic novels. If you like to read comic books or graphic novels, we have a lot of those as well. There's a lot of fun programs that happen here at the library and um, we hope to see you soon. Come and see us, bye. We could not end our show without saying a very special thank you to the TCC Virginia Beach Joint Use Library. They really have bent over backwards for us to help to let us film at the library. I mean, can you yeah. believe that? I They've mean, been so generous. Uh, they they really provide have. us with resources, space, and the help we need uh, from the people here. They're, they've just been wonderful. Right. And it, it's not the place where you have the stereotypical librarian saying, shh. You know, <laughs> they are so generous and kind and helpful. And I mean, the place is full of resources and computers. And I mean, you guys know from watching the ends of the, each video clip where it, they explain the resources, this place is incredible. They even have restrooms here. Oh, yeah. And a fireplace made of glass. Yes. So if you guys want to check out a place that will make you so excited and feel at home and also keep you entertained and 
educated and inspired for hours and hours and hours, please, if you haven't come here, make sure you check out the TCC Joint Use Libraries. It's and, well worth your time. Yep. Yeah. All right. Have fun illustrating, and we can't wait to see your artwork. And keep on reading, okay? That's right, yes. <laughs> All right, bye. bye.